I don't think the. Good morning, middle school. Today is a B day. Today for lunch is homemade pizza, 7 through 12 pizza paws, chef salad, and assorted fruit. Please stand and recite the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Livonia Lunch and Learn welcomes Sam Rohde today. He will be here to talk about his career path in the building trades. During lunch, meet in the high school main lobby conference room. Look for the big sign by the high school main entrance. It's casual and informative. Grab your lunch and a friend and meet in the conference room. Page Turner's Club is meeting Thursday. Keep writing questions. Girls and Ramirez will meet today. It is that time of year. It is time to sign up to play in this year's annual March Madness Chess Tournament. Any middle school student can sign up in Mr. Kishore's room so that your name can be placed on the bracket. Please sign up before the end of the day on Friday. Good luck. Attention girls who are interested in a STEM career. There is a Girls in STEM Fair at RIT on February 25th. Experience hands-on demonstrations and presentations by female, female faculty and students. See Mr. Retreats for more information. Attention 7th and 8th graders, Modified Swimming and Diving will be having an informational meeting this Thursday at 2.15 in the pool. Any questions, see Coach Keel. On February 5th, 1937, President Franklin Roosevelt announces a controversial plan to expand the Supreme Court to as many as 15 judges, allegedly to make it more efficient. Critics immediately charged that Roosevelt was trying to pack the court and thus neutralize Supreme Court Justice and Hospital to the Attention athletes, anyone interested in running varsity cross country in the fall should come to a team meeting on Thursday at 2.30 in the small cafeteria. We will be discussing our weekend overnight trip and a fundraising opportunity to fund that trip. If you have a conflict and will not be able to attend, please see Coach Bronco this week for information. Thank you. We have one special announcement. Thanks, ladies. Good morning, everybody. A couple things to talk about this morning. Want to just make sure we're all on the same page around what we're focusing on. We've got uh, today, tomorrow, and Friday, and then another week, and then we're on break for a, lot, a bit. A lot of people were coming in talking about their um, grades on their 30 week report card, and my explanation to them was you should not think about your 30 week report card at 30 weeks. You should be thinking about it, or your 20 weeks rather. Um, you should be thinking about it before they start collecting grades and getting everything in the books. So right now is the time to think about your next report card. Now is the time to work hard. Now is the time to stay after school with your teachers. A lot of parents who called in and asked questions about their, stu their students' grades, um, I, they were shocked to know that the staff stays here until 2.45. And they say, well, my son or my daughter staying after school, but we don't know what they're doing. You have to remember, we come here first for academics. And there's a teacher in their room every day from 2.15 to 2.45, where you can get help from the person who's teaching you. The only exception to that is when we have our staff meetings on Wednesday, or if, uh, if there was a, a teacher who possibly had to go home for some reason or had an appointment. So out of all the days of the, of the month, there's one day, one Wednesday, it happens to be the third Wednesday of the month that we have a staff meeting. And the rest of the time, people are in their rooms, okay? So make sure you get in. Make sure you see the persons who are giving you your assignments so that you can get accurate and really good help, okay? That's number one. Number two, I sent a note out yesterday to all parents and students from sixth grade to 12th grade, announcing two things. One, there is a hunter safety course that we're going to be offering through the Department of Environmental Conservation right here in Livonia. And Livonia kids get first rights at that class. We don't put it out on the internet to say anybody want to take the class because it'll fill up in about 10 minutes. We keep the class closed and the way we register you is you come and see me. I'll give you your workbook and you'll have an opportunity to put some information down and then you're going to be registered for the class. That starts today. If you have a moment, 
um, please talk with your parents first because we only have a certain number of seats. We only have a certain number of books. We want to make sure that everybody who's actually going to take the class uh, has a book and has a seat in their class. So talk with your parents first, make sure it's okay with them, and then stop down and they'll get you registered. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is in that same note that I sent yesterday regarding the hunter safety class, we also introduced the 2020 spring semester trap team dates and times and, and when we're going to be doing what. Well. Um, I said that to every student and parent in grades six through 12. If you're interested, if you have questions, if you know, oh my gosh, I'm having a hard time signing out or whatever, please make sure you let me know. I'll absolutely try to help you and make sure that, you're, that your registration is smooth. Um, our first season, last spring, we had 30 kids. Last season was fall, we had 72. So I don't know how many kids are gonna come out. Maybe we'll get 30, maybe we'll get 100, I'm not sure. But we're going to make sure that it's a fun experience. If, you, if you're questioning it, you can ask somebody who's already been on the team. But that, that those two informational pieces went out yesterday by email to every student and every parent. So if you have questions on either one, stop in. Thank you. Thank you for having uh, your, your positive attitude. And thank you for doing your best while you're here. Okay, have a great day. And I love you guys. Have a great day, middle school.